Welcome to ACCQ Continuing Professional Education. We have a new topic for this particular video. It's called Warranty Liability. Before we move forward, dito sa ating, um, sa ating topic, I'd like to make a shout out sa lahat ng uh, accountancy students, BSA Section A, Section B, and Section, Section C. Hello there. Now, Ano ba itong warranty liability? Pag-usapan muna natin ito, no? Um, karaniwan kasi pagka, uh, let's say, bumibili tayo ng appliance sa, uh, let's say, sa um, appliance center, no? Whether ref refrigerator, uh, TV, washing machine, and even cell phones, no? Merong, merong ano to, merong warranty to na, na nakakabit, no? For a certain period of time. Now, pagka hindi na, no, let's say, pagka may defect yung uh, produkto na naibili natin, no, pwede nating ipaayos doon sa appliance center. So, um, walang bayad yun. Kasi kasama na yun doon sa bayad. Nung, nung, when you purchase the, uh, the, uh, the appliance itself. No? So, it says here, the recognition of uh, warranty provision, PAS number 37, paragraph 14, provides that a provision shall be recognized as a liability in the financial statements under the following conditions. So there are about three conditions. Namely, the entity has a present obligation, legal or constructive, as a result of past event. Di ba napag-usapan natin yan under the liability? So, kailangan meron silang present obligation now yung seal of the um, the the appliance gives them yung bang present obligation na gagawin nila in the future no yung uh, yung yung in case na magkaroon ng defect um, they they already estimate that ito yung mga isa sa mga estimated liability nila coming from a present obligation nung pagbili nung appliance. And next one is, it is probable that an outflow of resources embodying economic benefits would be required to settle the obligation. And so, may, ano, may meron tayong ilalabas na economic benefits no? to settle yung obligation na yun, whether it's cash or non-cash. And yung uh, pangatlong condition is that the amount of the obligation is measured reliably. So, kailangan meron tayong estimate doon. So, in this, uh, in this topic which is warranty liability, we can have yung ano na yun. We, we have uh, those uh, three requirements are present. No? So, without much ado, we can proceed now doon sa board work. No? Okay, so here we go. So as we can see here, example number one, this is IACPA adopted or American Institute for Certified Accounting adopted. No? Mail company sells washing machines that carry a three-year warranty against manufacturer's defects. Based on the entity's experience, warranty costs are estimated at 300 pesos per machine so we can now have yung yung estimate no 300 pesos so yung yung uh, warranty cost per machine so gagamitin natin mamaya yan no pero ilan bang ano ilan bang washing machine yung maaring isole para ipaayos during the current year the entity sold 2400 hmm. washing machines and paid Warranty cost of 170,000 pesos. So we will consider those amounts. So let's take up number one. What should be reported as warranty expense for the current year? So let's take this one first, not solution. Number one. So warranty expense for the current year. This one for number one is 
ilang ba yung ano ilang ba yung naibenta so this 2400 no yung naibenta for the current year so this is multiplied by 300 pesos which is the warranty expense per machine so just multiply that and get your calculators that would be okay so that would be just looking at it no that would be 720,000 pesos 720,000 pesos so this is your warranty expense for the for the year so even if it's just estimated it is um, um, measured reliably so nandun yung tatlong requirements no it is it came off as a uh, present obligation of the company no so once na nakapagbenta na sila then they are already obligated to um, to serve yung ka, yung uh, client no or yung customer once na nagkaroon ng defect or damage no so potentially 2400 yung washing machines no so 2400 times 300 that's 720 times the um, warranty expense per machine and of course yung pangalawa no yung bang outflow of uh, of um, economic uh, resources no and it number three it is measured reliably so they pass those three requirements so let's now go move forward to number two so for number two what about should be reported as warranty liability so we have already yung warranty expense no yung kaninang um, sinod natin warranty expense for the year that is 720 then you see that got at 720 less the payments payments so meron bang payments and paid warranty cost payments so this is 170,000 okay so ibabawas natin siya dun sa total expense para makita natin kung ano pa yung utang nila yung obligation pa nila so 720 less 170,000 would give you the wa a warranty liability of okay so how much sige nga paki-compute mo nga yan kunin ko lang yung calculator ko so that would be 000 zero, zero, zero. so to mano mano talaga to no? Three, six. so this would be 530,000 so that is still the liability no? the the, um, the warranty liability for the ending or for the period okay so let's move now to the other uh, example okay so now we're going to the second example no? so Medyo mas uh, komplikado kaysa dun sa nauna yung example natin dito sa number 2 kasi it is 2 years so dalawang taon yung warranty niya ito yung period of warranty so let's take this up okay so in 2019 strategyam company began selling new line of products that carry a 2 year yan, sinabi ko na nga, warranty against defects based upon experience with other products the entity estimated warranty cost as a percentage of sale. So, kagaya nung nauna kanina, no? ganun rin yung percentage of sale. So, first year of warranty, we have 2%. And second year of warranty, we have 5%. So, let's take note of that. No? In 2019, there was a sale of 5 million. Tapos, yung actual warranty cost niya is 100,000. Pagdating naman ng 2020, there, there is a sale of uh, 7 million and actual warranty cost of 300,000. Ibig sabihin, itong actual warranty cost, ito yung binayaran. Yung actual na binayad ng company dun sa mga uh, customers. Now, let's take up number one. What should be reported as warranty expense for 2019? So, just like the same um, computation a while ago, yung, yung ginawa natin sa, sa unang example, no? ngayon, ganun rin yung i-apply natin. However, there is a slight uh, difference, no? So, the actual, so the warranty 
warranty expense for 2019. So here's the computation. So we have since yung sale dun sa 2019 is 5 million multiplied by 2 plus 5 percent that's 7 percent. Okay, yung iba nagkakamali 2 percent lang para dun sa, sa 2019 but it's actually yung ano, i-combine natin yan or i-total natin yung 2% saka 5% because yung yung first year ng sale which is 2019, hindi lang naman sa unang taon siya ano, mag magki-claim yung warranty or or merong mga customers na mag-avail ng warranty. Pati sa second year and so total nung warranty or percentage ng warranty. So this would be sige nga pa i-compute 5 million times 7%, that would be 350,000. Okay, you can check it out. The next one, so dito naman sa pangalawa, kinukuha na, kukuni naman natin yung warranty liability. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga ba, yung babayaran pa. As of December 31, 2019. Kasi hindi ka naman nagkakaroon ng liability pag kung bayad na. So, yung babayaran mo pa. So, ganito lang yung pag-compute yan. The same as we have did um, yung first example no? so so this is the um, the warranty expense which we have computed a while ago warranty expense okay for 2019 this this is uh, 350,000 and what we have paid so less actual warranty cost actual warranty cost of 100,000. So, meron pang liability na 250,000 as of December 31. Warranty liability December 31, 2019. And then the next one, what amount should be reported as warranty expense? So, ganun rin, no? So, ito naman ang titignan natin, this one. So, Warranty expense, so I guess you can see it there. And okay, so warranty expense that would be seven million. Warranty expense for 2020, this would be seven million times seven percent. So, sige nga, pakikuha mo nga yan. Computing nga natin yan. That would be, sige. That would be, alam mo, kailangan din natin ang calculator, no? Para makasigurado. So, 7 million, especially pagka ngayon mga big amounts na. So, times 0 0.07, that would be 490,000. There. So, this is the warranty expense for 2019. Now, the last number for this uh, particular example, number four, what amount should be reported as warranty liability on December 31, 2020? So, medyo magbebent tayo ng konti, no, para, ano, alam mo, kailangan sa account accounting, kailangan flexible ka rin, eh. Yan. So, pagsasold ng problems. So, this would be yung, ano, natin, yung liability natin for, um, for 2019 kasi ibig sabihin hindi pa kasi ano hindi pa kasi nabayaran yan nung end of 2019 so ngayon pa lang siya mababayaran so well, warranty this would be the warranty liability okay liability 2019 okay so that would be ayun no yun there you go this one, 250,000. 250,000. And add natin dito, okay, which is the warranty expense. So, yung kung kanina, no, yung sa number one example, take consideration lang natin yung expense for this year. Kasi ito naman kasi two years to. So, i-add natin yung warranty fro from the warranty liability nung last year. So, add warranty expense. 2020 so this would be 490 
thousand. So kunin nga natin yung ano yung total niya. This would be 490,000 plus 250,000. So this would be the <clears throat> total of warranties for this year. Kasi itong 2019 magjuju na siya this year. No? So plus yung ngayon to, no? So 740,000 yung total. So this would be your warranty total warranty expense for 2020 okay and then ima minus natin dyan yung yung ngayon yung warranty cost yung binayaran so less less the actual warranty cost Okay, I hope you can see it. Warranty cost for 2020. Okay. So, sabihin nyo lang sa akin kung di nyo kita. Sige, i-bend natin ng konti. There. So, 2020, this one, yun, 300,000. Yan. Okay, so ito yung binayara ngayon 2020. So, meron pa siyang utang, no? So, this would be your warranty liability for the 2020 end of 2020 December 2020 so that would be yeah masasagutan na natin yan no so this would be 440 so ito pa yung babayaran pa natin so ganoon lang just to summarize no warranty liability 2019 so isasama mo siya dun sa no dun sa sa computation mo para doon sa December 31, 2020 kasi yung warranty liability mo noong 2019 ngayon siya babayaran okay, so ito naman yung so add mo yung warranty expense for 2020 yun na-compute natin dito, 490 so for a total of 740, that's the total warranty expense and then less the actual warranty cost for 2020 so it's 300 and you get, you still have yung warranty liability for 2020 of 440,000. Let's move on, move forward. So this Doon time we're going to take up yung another industry naman. So ito medyo may slight variation kesa dun sa mga nauna. Kasi yung nauna is mga appliance, appliance yung, uh, yung industry. This time, ito naman is yung uh, automobile. So mga kotse. So let's take this example, the third and the last example for warranty liables. So this is under IFRS or International Financial Reporting Standard uh, exam. No? So makita nyo yung mga exam, yung mga examples natin dito are um, adapted from this uh, CPA board exams. So let's take up number three, Ferrari company. Ito ng pangalan, no? Ferrari. No? Yung bang kotse tapos pera, no? So, kinumbine. Ferrari Company owns a car dealership that is that it uses for servicing cars under warranty. The entity sold 500 cars during the year. So, ito na yung nabenta ng company. The entity's experience with warranty claims is that 60% of all cars sold in a year have zero defect. So, kasi bago pa, so wala pang masyadong defect yun. Normally sa first year, no? So, at least 60% of that, no? 25% of all cars, at least uh, most of the cars, which is 60%, wala pa naramdaman defect. 25% of all cars sold in a year have normal defect. So, 25% of that, dun sa, sa nabenta, dito sa 500, Meron ng uh, normal defect. And 50%, 15% of all cars sold in a year have significant defect. So, medyo mas malitliit lang yung significant defect. No? Pero ano na rin yun, no? We have to account that as part of our um, warranty liability. Pagka nagpunta yung bumalik yung customer at ipaayos yan because of significant defect. The cost of rectifying a normal defect in a car is 10,000. 
the cost of rectifying a significant defect in a car is 30,000. So, mas malaking defect, mas malaki yung cost. What amount should be reported as warranty liability at year end? So, so for normal yan. defects, we have we have how many percent is that? That would be 25% of the 500 cars that was sold in a year and then multiplied by how much or the um, the cost for a normal defect that's 10,000 pesos okay so how much is that okay so going muna natin to bago natin ni compute kasi that's the easiest um, Part, yung eco compute mo. Okay, normal defect, and then this one is significant defect. Significant defect, which is 15% times 500 times yung 30,000. So that would give you magkano man. So this would be your warranty liability. Yeah, so at least natapos natin, no? Kulang na lang yung computation. So gawin natin ngayon. So, sabi ko sa inyo, ito yung pinakamadaling uh, parte, no? So 25%. This is 25% multiplied by 500 times 10,000. Okay, so 10,000, ito yung cost, no? So this would be 1,250,000. And yung pangalawa, this would be 15%. So, yakang yakang yan dyan sa cellphone mo. Even sa calculator, of course. Times 30,000 would give you 2,250,000. So, ang total nila, so iyag mo lang silang dalawa. This would be 1,250,000 plus 2,250,000. So... The answer should be 3,500,000. This is the total liability for the so that tier. Not so, there. So, if you have any questions or any comments or whatever topics you want to discuss, your answers to discuss, so just write a comment below. And of course, subscribe. Stay safe, God bless, and keep your hands clean.